Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and welcome back to Imperator Rome and our attempts to unite the not so at the moment United Kingdom and it's going to become even harder because at the moment the United Kingdom is becoming even more disunited even more ununited. I don't know what the terminology is, but this place here, Dubunya, is breaking apart because it is having a civil war. Dubunya is raging in a civil war. Look at this. These guys are revolting. So this was all one place. This is all one country down here, one nation, and now it's breaking apart. So currently, the rebellion has got these three cities over here and these two over here. So that's currently what's going on. And that is a whole new country to deal with, a whole new nation. The Dabuni Revolt is a new place in its entirety. We can go to here. We can open diplomacy with them. It's got a different leader, Cat. Tagnatus Iacus. So it's different to her, look. So she has lost control of these places. That is very interesting. And I was thinking we might be able to pounce. However, I did go down into here, go into here and have a look at what we can do if we declare war. And because we have no Cassus Belli, so we've got no sort of reason to go to war or no fabricated reason to go to war because we can obviously make them up. Um, it's very bad. All we can do is show superiority. So we just basically go in and flex our military muscles and go, ooh, look at us, aren't we good? Haven't we got lots of troops that can go and stamp on people and do stabby stabbies? And uh, we lose two stability. I don't think that's a good thing. We've got a stability of one right now. A stability of one gives us some nice boosts. And I want to get up to stability of two, if preferable, because that gives us even more things there. It gives us more tax and more research points and all that kind of stuff. So I think this would be bad. So we need to get ourselves a Cassus Belli on this place if we want to go in and take advantage of their fairly weak armies, to be honest. They are very, very poor. We could go in and take this. Unfortunately, we only have 56 oratory power, which is terrible. And I think we need to get ourselves... Uh, where is it? Influence actions? No. Oh, it's covert actions. That's it. We need 200 in order to fabricate a claim. Now, we could, if we like, get this thing here, this aggressive protection thing, to bring it down 10%, but that's still 180. And we've got 56, and we only earn three a month because our guy is useless. Our tribal chief has utterly no skill at oratory at all. He's, he's just useless. So I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We can't do anything else. If we go in, we can't sort of lay a claim to their lands. We can't go in and take their lands because we haven't got an actual claim on it. So we just go in, we show off of it, we go, oh, look, <laughs> we're big and scary and military. And then that's it. That's all we can do. So we might have to wait. We might have to wait to see what's going on down here. We'll leave our troops down here just in case these guys get a little bit, a little bit feisty and come over the border to us and start having a bit of a scrap. So we'll see what they do. But um, yeah, there's still plenty of other things for us to do. Now up here, Parisia, that's these guys up here. These guys up here with York and such like, and you know, where modern day Hull would be, I think is up there, isn't it? They're, they're thinking of leaving our alliance. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. They plan to declare war on you, your ally, or your league member. Okay, who are they buddies with? Who are they friends with? Oh my goodness me, they're friends with pretty much everybody. <laughs> Wowee! Okay, so they're friends with us. They're friends with those guys there, the Brigantians. Um, they're friends with... Oh, hang on, how, how far up does Brigantia go? Oh, Brigantia goes all the way up there. I suppose us and Brigantia do actually take up quite a lot of space. Um, they're friends with those guys up there. They're in defensive league with the Damnonians. Good grief, they've got a lot of people over there. Okay, so yeah, they are going to break away. Will they declare war on us? Possibly. They might do. They might declare war on the Brigantians as well, though, possibly. I don't really know what their plan is. I don't know what their plan is going to be. But okay, that's fine. So we'll have to deal with that when it happens. Good grief. Okay, clear that. Uh, we've still got a bad research ratio. Yes, I know. We can afford a new invention and we can call down an omen. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is... I'd, lo I'd love to call down an omen. I'd love to call down this one here, national tax, for a long while. Gets us an absolute load of extra money in. But I'm going to go for this. I'm going to save up to sacrifice an animal to the gods. Because we're all druids and that's fine. We'll make a stone circle or something like that. And then we'll sacrifice an animal to the gods to increase our stability by one. So then it will be two. And the maximum it can be is three. So that's pretty good going. So I think that's good. So inventions, what can we have? Um, herbalism increases our technology speed by five. I suppose that could be useful. Oath of Brotherhood Army Morale Recovery. That could be quite good. Um, we know that that's the Fabricate Claim Cost. We don't need that right now. It's going to take us so, so long. That'll come up way before that will. So that'll be fine. So we'll get we'll get enough civic power 
to get uh, this thing before our ority power is back up to enough, you know, to, so we can actually get the Casus Belli thing done. Um, Humane Conduct gives us a diplomatic relation point. That could be useful because that guy is a little bit naff at that, isn't he? Where is he? He's not very good. Oh no, it's diplomacy. Where's where's the right window? There. We have th minus three diplomatic relations because our guy is terrible. So that could be a useful thing to get. Where were we? Technology. And then military tech investment. That will uh, advance that a bit quicker. I mean, that just does tech speed overall, doesn't it? Does that just do tech speed? Or is that... Or I think That might be all technology, I suspect. Rather than just... Um, there's just religious tech. I think it's all tech. Okay, that could be useful, I suppose. I don't quite know how... Unless that is just religious tech. I'm not entirely sure. I do not know. That's not entirely clear, but okay, fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know which one of these to go for. I quite like the idea of going for that diplomatic relation, just to maybe give us a little bit more <laughs> in terms of diplomacy. Um, or this, army morale recovery plus 2%. Because that's got to be quite good. All these up here I'm not so bothered about. Triremes, we haven't got any of those. Let's go for this, shall we? Let's get army morale recovery up. Particularly if we're going to be doing some fighting, that could be quite useful. So yeah, we'll have that, please. Yep, lovely. Right, okay. And then we do need to do something with our tech at some point. Because our tech is just so terrible. <laughs> it's so rubbish. Also, I was thinking about her just here. So this person here is getting a little bit close to going below 40 loyalty again. And then she might start causing some trouble. Her people caused some trouble over here in Lactadora and they went and plundered it and all that kind of stuff. So um, I think what we could do is, I think now we give her free hands. Free hands is good because at the moment, corruption is changing by minus 0.1 every month because we put that idea into play. We put in this thing, we put in sanctioned privileges. So, you know, we sort of overlook a few little bits and bobs here and there. We overlook a few, you know, polite handshakes, Masonic handshakes, well, I don't know, Druidic Masonic handshakes, I don't know what they're like. So we overlook those, and then our monthly corruption comes down a little bit. So if we were to give that to her, if we were to give her free hands, it would give her a monthly loyalty of plus 0.25, which would be brilliant. What's our Lord to minute? Oh my goodness me. So it would just, it would decrease by 0 0.01 per month, which is brilliant. That's very, very good. And also her monthly corruption would only go up by 0 0.1. So we'll have to see what that does. I think we need to do that because otherwise she is still going to be a problem. So let's give her free hands. There we go. You've got free hands. I don't know what it does. The character has been granted free hands to do as they please whilst in office. Now, that is a little bit risky because, you know, she could go all maverick on us and rebel and haul up a load of people against us. But for the moment, it keeps her off our back. Loyalty changes by minus 0 0.01 each month is brilliant. I like that. And we'll clear the omen thing. Uh, right. OK, let's just go down here and see what's going on with the actual fighting, shall we? So they've still not got many troops. They're just sort of moving them around a little bit. Um, I would like, if I'm completely honest, let's go to here. Can we now build ourselves a unit of warriors? That's what we went to war for over here. Oh, hang on a minute, pause time. Foreign claims on the province of Coratana. That's us. The Pratani local power of Parisia. Oh, you lot. Up here with your 10,000 men. Now is a claim on the province of Coratania. This gives them a cast spell eye against us. It's clearly time to recruit a larger army. So they fabricated some claim on us. And then they're probably going to attack us at some point. Because why would they do that otherwise? Okay, what's in their what's in their army? It's archers and it's and it's just sort of skirmishers. So it's what sort of light infantry type stuff. Okay, well I mean this is very appropriate then. Can we do this? Uh, oh no, we can't build them there, can we? Because that's uh, we haven't got iron there. Have we not got iron over that way? De De Bentio does not have iron. Okay, it must be over here then. There we go. The iron's over this way. Um. 10 gold it's going to cost us and 0.79 per month. So we can only have one lot of these guys, really, before we then start going into a deficit. So, okay, let's recruit heavy infantry. They're probably the best thing we're going to do right now. I'd love to get... <laughs> I'd love to get an army of, like, camels in. In Britain, it'd just be so weird. A load of camels and elephants <laughs> just wandering around. It just look very odd. Just, you know, England's green and pleasant lands. Oh, what's that coming over the hill? It's a load of camels and elephants. <laughs> That'd be very funny. Alas, I can't get in at the moment. I'm not trading with them at the minute. But, um, yeah, they seem to be very good. They're very good against chariots. They're good against heavy cavalry. They're good against light infantry. And they suffer no 
negative penalties but no bonuses against archers. So yeah, even one unit of those could be very powerful. So yeah, we'll get those in. Absolutely. We'll join them up to here. That'll be fine. So um, yeah, okay. This war down here, they have taken... Oh, they're taking this place. Trinovantia is losing this. So they're going to war with these. Are they at war with them? Hang on, what's going on here? What? Oh, you are. So you're at war with these guys across here, like a strip across sort of the, the middle south of England. So sort of Cornwall, Devon, through down here, sort of Avon, Somerset kind of area over here, sort of where Essex is, I suppose. Oh, my goodness me, you've taken those. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, this is going to be bad. If they take those, that's... That's not going to be good. It's not going to be good for us either because they're going to be in our way. We want these places. We we wanted this place for ourselves. Is our troop, troop unit nearly ready? Yes, it is. Right, you guys go up here. Join those lot. And we might move those lot up there possibly. We might move them all the way up there because that worries me a little bit. Also, you guys, where can support you up here? Yeah, you pop up to there. You go to that place, that's fine, because nobody down here has got a, a Casus Belli thing against us. No one's got a legitimate claim on us. These guys now have, well, I mean, not legitimate claim, they've got a claim on us. <laughs> it's been entirely made up and written on the back of a cigarette packet or whatever. Um, oh, the second, oh no, the second warband don't have a thing. Yeah, that's fine. I know, we're fine with that. They're not going to have one. So yeah, I think we put our troops up there just in case they attack, which they've got to. Otherwise, why would they bother getting the Casus Belli thing in place and all that stuff? So, yeah, we'll see what's going on. They're having another bit of a fight. The Dubunians are trying to take that place back. How's it going? It's it's looking good for the Dubunians. The actual home force is doing pretty well. Oh, no. No. It's, all, it's swung back the other way. The Dubunians are now losing. Oh, oh, and they've been supported by the Trinovantians. <gasps> the Trinovantians came in at the very end there. They sort of rallied in. These guys are doing an absolutely sterling job. These guys are brilliant. They did, they're brilliant. They did very, very well. So they lost that battle there, but they did very well. Right, we want to um, combine you two. Uh, how do we do that? There? No, hang on. How do we select all the things in one place? We click there. There, right, okay. So let's merge those units. Good. So now it's not complaining that you've not got a uh, warband type thing. Uh, leader, sorry. Um, what can support them? Oh, not very much at all. The place we're in or the place next door. That's the only two places that can support these 10,000 people. Oh, dear. Okay, so if we go up here to have a bit of a scrap, then, yeah, they're going to start taking some attrition damage, and a lot of it as well. Crikey, the support around here is terrible. Are we allowed to declare war on them now? Um, no. You may not declare war upon a country with which you have an alliance. Okay. This is a little bit strange, isn't it? It's a little bit of a strange situation we're in. So they've gone, yeah, we're Casus Belli against you, but um, but also we're, <laughs> we're allied with you. It's a little bit odd. Right, we'll leave those guys there then. Um, right, okay, let's uh, let's watch what's going on down here with interest then, because you know we sort of do have a bit of a vested interest in all this stuff. And uh, yeah, really, we want to get our religious power up to three hundred, and then hopefully start getting this oratory power up to somewhere near one hundred and eighty ish. Because if we get enough civic power, we can then get our technology and we can get this aggressive protection thing in to bring the cost of fabricating claims right back down. So, uh, yeah, at the moment, let's just have a little bit of that lovely sort of little bit of peace that we were looking forward to in the last part. A little bit of sitting down and relaxing and not much happening. We can just watch all this sort of carnage and nonsense unfold. Oh, well, this is disappointing. We've had the uh, pillaged event again, but this time it wasn't the lady who was a bit disloyal to us. It was her, and her loyalty to us, is, to us is quite good. So that just must have been very, very unfortunate indeed. So yeah, her loyalty to us is 80%. But yes, some of her soldiers have gone into that place, have gone into Derbentio, and have caused some sort of issues, and they've done some pillaging and all this kind of horrible nonsense. So what do we do? We either lose 1,000... 1,000 of our manpower, that's quite a lot, and she loses 20 loyalty, or she gets a bit of loyalty and we become less popular. Now, the maximum they can have is 80, isn't it? What's it going up by? 0 0.03 each month. That's probably not so bad. So it's uh, it's going to go up. She's not losing any sort of ongoing loyalty. So it's not like she loses 20 loyalty up front and then minus anything per turn. So how about we do that? Because then that will start slowly going back up. 
So it must be decimation. What does that do? We're left in the disagreeable position of having to choose between forcing our general to crucify his or her own soldiers or appearing weak and soft. We can't help but feel that Brenwyn knows precisely what she is doing. Um, yeah, okay, absolutely. You're going to have to go and uh, kill some of your soldiers, please. So there's 10,000 of them. So does that mean we just lose a great big load? Did we just lose some there? I didn't actually check what that was up there. But um, yeah, can we not do that? Can we keep our people under control, please? Because that is a little bit embarrassing. Ah, he is. That's going up. Is that going up? Loyalty changes 0.44 each month due to all those things. So he's on 50.2. Is it just showing me that that's coming down quite quickly? Why has he appeared in there? Okay, do we give you free hands as well? And that increases your loyalty. This could be a terrible thing to be doing. I mean, free hands, I'm not entirely sure of the impact. He is a bit insulted. But, oh, ah, only for a couple more years. And then that will start coming down. It'll be 0. Point, what was it there? 0. 0.39, 0. 0.34 per month. Let's give him free hands. Let's see what he does with that. The corruption will only be pl uh, 0. 0.1 per month. Yeah, you can have free hands as well. Absolutely. You love the free hands. Go and do whatever it is you need to do with free hands. Also, this here hasn't gone well, has it, for the uh, for the breakaways? The bunnies got them back, and the revolters are just over here now in this little sort of new independent state type thing over there. Um, yeah, we're, nothing's really going on right now. This is This is quite nice. It's letting us get all our stats back up and stuff, which is lovely. I thought there might be a little bit more of a ruckus around here, if I'm honest. Although, to be fair, something's going on just here. Who are you? Are you the Dubunians? You're taking this place. You're taking your territory back. Okay, that's good. Also, that seems to be switching around a little bit as well over there. Or something's happening over there. But yeah, they're going to take that back. Imagine they are. Oh yeah, they're sieging it, look. They are sieging this place. So Virtus is under siege. Okay, right, okay. So the stuff still is going on, but they've lost these two bits over here and we have not been able to take advantage, which is a bit of a shame. I also like this, by the way. I do like this. When it gets cold, when it gets into the winter months, snow does appear on the ground and stuff does start looking, you know, wintry. It looks cold, particularly over here where we are. There will be snow around here on, you know, sort of December months and stuff. So, yeah, that's quite a nice touch. You know, you get a bit of snow on here, snow on the hills. There'll be loads of snow in Scotland. There you go. Look, loads of snow all over the place. See so, yeah, that does look good. Ooh. Ooh, there's a big war going on up here. Something's going on up there. My goodness me. Yeah, what's happening up here? Who's fighting who? You're at war with those guys. Oh, okay, fine. Well, I'll leave you to that. We'll get there eventually, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, they don't even know we exist. They just do not care that we exist. They're not bothered at all. Um, okay, who's the Bunya allied with? They're allied with... Oh, they're f oh, green means they're fighting in a war together. Okay, oh, look at that. That's who they're at war with. It's all kind of coming down. Yep, they're losing their bits. I think that, uh, that civil war is going to be over pretty soon, I would guess. Ah, and excitingly, we have over 300 religious power. So let's go to religion and let's do this. Let us make a sacrifice to the gods. And of course, it's a little bit more expensive. Normally, you can see there it costs 200. But our one costs 300 because of that extra 50% uh, sort of modifier there for a positive stability. So because we're stable anyway and we're doing this again, it becomes a bit more expensive. And I imagine when we do it again, it's going to become even more expensive. But let's see what this does to our stability. So what's that? So it's tax five, research points five, point one, and five. So five, five, point one, and five. Let's do that then. So there you go. Right, our realm is more stable. That's going to be 10, 10, two, and 10, and 100. Oh, so it's doubled it. It's just doubled all those things. So we've got an extra 5% national tax, an extra 5% research points. It might not be 100 years till we actually work out how to do some research. Our ruler is going to become more popular. And yes, yeah, subject states, we don't have any of those right now. But yes, national tax. So at the moment, it's 4.2. If I just speed time on to the end of the month, what is it going to be at the end of this point? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, let's deal with this thing. Ask for military access from Trinovantia. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely, yeah, rock on, yes, accept that, yay, have some military access, my good folks, right, yeah, let's unpause it, a war, oh, oh, okay, the Pratani local power of Cantasia, hang on, pause time, has declared war upon the Pratani local power of Trinovantia, we are now obliged to help, Trinovantia, Corotani and Dubunia have rallied together to defend in this war, right, hang on, hang on, who is who, who is who, who are the Cantassians, they're the Cantassians, and they declared war, on the Trinovantians here. So my, my former targets <laughs> that, that I'm now very good friends with. Trinovantia 
are in, so they've joined in. Coratania, which is us, and Dubunia over here, who are dealing with their own things, have rallied together to defend in this war. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Right, brilliant. Let's get some people to come down here. Also, what's that? Ask for military access from Dubunia. Yes, absolutely. We're currently at war with Cantasia. Okay, so this is interesting, isn't it? Do we have any relations? Do we care about them? No relations. Oh, they, they really hate us. Oh, because we're at war. They, I was going to say, they don't really like us much anyway, but there you go. So, Cantasia is down here. They've got 12,000 men. The only thing is, I don't want to move too many people from my territory because these guys up here might then come and get us. How about we get 9,000 men moving? Where can they be supported? Oh, absolutely everywhere. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's that's lovely. They can be supplied literally anywhere. So can we go into here? Are we allowed to go into here because that's our allies' territory? Or do we have to ask for alliance actions? Do we have to access actions? Do we have to ask for military access? Request access to their territory. I mean, it would be useful if I could move through your territory to get to the to get to the baddies that are killing you. So, uh, yeah, that'd be handy, please. Yep, yeah, lovely. Right, okay. There we go. They've decided to allow our troops military access rather than having to fight so unworthy an opponent. Oh, all right there. That's a bit lardy da, isn't it? Fine. Uh, right, okay. So you guys, uh, you're Trinovantian. What do I need to look for? That thing there. Blue stripe checks. Okay, you come down to here. Go that way, please. And let's bring our first war band down. Let's bring them to there. Let's march them in and just scare these guys. These guys just seem to be <laughs> just sitting on the coast. They've declared war, but don't seem to have any kind of troops around the place. Who's friend with, with you lot? Are you friends with anybody? These guys. But we're not at war with them, are we? No. Okay. This is all a bit strange. I mean, the, the, odds, the odds are stacked against you there, Cantasia. I'll be completely honest. But there we go. So let's have a little war with these then. Oh my goodness me. Right, hang on, pause time. The local Pratani power of Domnomnia has declared war upon the Pratani power of Carvetia. Okay, where where are these places? Where's Domnomnia and where's Carvetia? Well, can't, I need to rename these places or I need to learn where they are. Right, Domnomnia are just there. Okay, and Carvetia are where? Carvetia are... Are they Carvetia? They're Parisia. Where's Carvetia? Hang on, can we not just do the war thing with them? Those guys, there, hang on, this is very confusing. Are they the Damnomnians? No, where are the Damnomnians? Oh, I'm very confused. It is, it's these two here. So this place here and this place here is, uh, they're having a war. Okay, they're quite some way off. They're quite far away. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll help. Absolutely. It might take me a long while to get my troops up there, though. Yep, I'm on my way. Oh, Trinovantia have already got Londinium in their pocket. Look at that. They've already gone in and claimed that place for theirs. Our troops haven't even got down there. They're still struggling to get all the way down here. Okay, this is very encouraging. Surely we could grab a bit of territory out of this. We could get a little bit of territory out of this, couldn't we? Could we not have a little bit of a claim on something here? How does it work when we're here? How does it work when we are at war because of an ally? Do we get some of the territory ourselves? Oh, for goodness sake, you again. Are you going to try and rob us of some money? A message has been, uh, a message has been from our arbitrator. Maybe received should be the, in there. A message has been received from our arbitrator, Andrasti Vodanosa. It seems she has found some loopholes to increase our treasury or give us some more authority in civil matters. It comes a bit sudden, but in small degrees, it will probably not affect the state in a negative way. We should keep an eye on our arbitrator and our arbitrary ways. Oh, she is called the arbitrator for a reason, I guess. So gold is always worth its weight in gold. If we do that, we get a little bit of money and we both become a bit more corrupt. But that's going to come down because of the thingamabob we chose, the idea thing. Civic matters, you say. We get 25 civic power and we become corrupt. Or we don't do anything. We become less corrupt, but she then becomes less loyal. Yeah, do you know what? I'm, I'm always up for a little bit of corruption. It's fine. A tiny, tiny little bit of corruption is surely a good thing. We've not got any corruption at the moment. So that's probably fine. So we'll gain five corruption. We'll see what it does. Do we go for gold or civic power? Gold, I think, is what we have to go for. We've got to go for that because we're just not making enough. Look at that. Our previous monthly balance was nothing. We're just not making any money because it's just so hard because our army maintenance is so expensive. So let's go to here. Let's get ourselves a little payoff of gold. 
which is lovely. So we'll choose that. Bing, thank you. We become a bit more corrupt. What does that mean? What does that mean? Has a following impact. The monthly wage goes up. And then power costs. I don't know what power costs are. It looks like, <laughs> next to power costs, it looks like the Infinity Stones, but okay, that's fine. So, ah, uh, yes, his wage has gone up because he's a little tiny bit corrupt. So, yeah, so he's doing things on the sly to get himself a little bit more money. Okay. Uh, right, our people have arrived. They've arrived there. I don't think they need to do much else. It looks like everything's being taken care of. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at this. You're just being absolutely, absolutely stamped upon. Um, can we go to there? Can you guys just go into there? That'd be good. And then you guys come through to here. So you guys meander into here. You go to there. Their troops are trying to go into this territory over here with the Druidrigians. So they're 11,000 men are just wandering off and leaving their place entirely undefended. Oh, okay, fine. Yep, chariots are going to be completed down there. I imagine they're going to go over there to join those lot. So yeah, this this could be nice. This could be lovely. Got a couple of active wars. Uh, yeah, I'm not really bothered about the Cantassian. No, the Cantassian wars I am bothered with. The Damnonian Corvettian war I don't really care about so much. It's fine. Uh, we can afford a new invention already. That's very welcome. So we could get our claim cost down. Still not got enough oratory power, which is so rubbish. Right, we're sieging that place. So that place is going to become ours. There's a little collection of troops just there. Who are they? Mercenaries. Okay, are they actually in the game or are they waiting for us to sort of buy them? Uh, recruiting Bolgi's mercenaries will cost 50 and have them serve us to further notice. They cost you 6.8 every month? Oh my goodness me, no, <laughs> no, our economy would be annihilated. We already are losing money hand over fist. Oh my goodness me, that's that's very, very expensive. Yeah, let's not do that. That way madness lies. We're, right, we're taking that. That's good. Um, I'm going to move them into there. We will take that land, hopefully, all being well. That's 9,000 people in there, so this is pretty good. So we're taking whatever this place is called, Vagniasis. Then we're going to come down here. And we're going to take... Oh, they're already taking that, look. Those guys are already taking that. That's brilliant. Okay, so the Debunians are taking this. We've got this place here, which is good. Of late, Dynamicus Chorus has begun to exhibit particularly obtuse behaviour. Oh, for goodness sake, has he become even more ineffective? Sometimes getting one's point across for him is simply too much effort to bear. On the plus side, he's never at risk of being manipulated. He's going to become... Yeah, right, he's become stubborn. What does that mean for us? Um, oh, hang on. I have to press the button for it to apply. Um, his monthly popularity goes down, um, but he is a governor of a few places that might give the local forts a bit of extra defence. Okay, fine. Right, we've got that place, which is quite welcome. So we've taken that. Um, do we go and start doing the siege, or do we bring our other people over? I'd rather pool our forces and then go and do a siege. Um, right, okay. Clan Vodonosi retinue. Pootle over this way. Um, who are they? They're Debunians, they're Trinovantians. Okay, <laughs> they've just got no troops. Their troops are all the way over here, while their own lands are being completely annihilated. I should possibly have a look up here, though, just to make sure that none of this lot are creeping down toward me. But yeah, they're having a big old fight up there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll handle it themselves. It's all lovely. Um, yeah, they haven't got enough people to start to fight just there. However, if we send our lot in, and then eventually send our other lot in as well, we should be able to get that. That'll be fine, won't it? We can get this done. So they'll take that place. They're going to slowly make their way over here toward the Cantassians. Yep, there you go. Over there, right, and a siege. A siege with about 15,000 people in it. This place will fall. They're going to lose that place. They've just lost everything. They've lost everything. They've done it. This is very stupid. This is this is a foolish decision by them to declare war on somebody and then just, and then just wander off. And then just wander off. It's all a little bit silly, isn't it? Okay, right, there we go. So we've got a few little places down here. And as soon as this place falls, surely we can just sue for sue for peace with them. Hang on, how does that work? How does that work now? Sue for peace. You cannot abandon your allies until 36 months have passed. In this war, that will be the 24... Oh, so we can't even do anything. We need to wait for our allies to actually make peace. We need to do that. But yeah, we've got, we've got so much stuff. We've got... Look at it. Look at our war score. Current war score is very, very much, but we can't sue for peace. I just don't think we can do it. It just won't let us do it. You can't abandon your allies. 
So, okay, fine. Well, well right, there we go then. <laughs> we'll just siege this place down. Um, we still seem to have 10,000 people. So there's nothing much going on there. Uh, well, let's bring the little siege thing up. There we go. Oh, look, it's on fire. Their fort is a little bit on fire. What bonuses have we got? Um, Cabander impact. Oh, they have broken down their alliance. The Parisians, not the ones over in France, the, the other ones, the other Parisians have broken their alliance with us. That could be quite bad because they might then attack us. I would rather they didn't attack us. That would be a bit tedious, but okay, fine. Uh, so yeah, what modifiers have we got? Um, breaches, uh, the wall's been breached once. There's a fort and there's a blockade. If this is a port and it is not blockaded, there's minus one to the siege presses. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Right, what's going on here? Oh my goodness me. An offer of alliance from Dubunia. Who are you friends with, Dubunia? This is getting very complicated, isn't it? Dubunia are presumably buddies with well, we're at war with, as in they're, they're having a war with us on their side. They're trading with those guys and they're allied with them and they've got a defensive pact with them. Do you know what? Yeah, all right. Maybe we have to go and take these places up here and then work our way back down. Yeah, I'll go for that. For right now, I will have an alliance with those guys in the middle. That's good. And this is Cornovia. Cornovia is up there. Would we like an alliance with Cornovia? Who are you buddies with? Do you know what? I might not go for an alliance with you because you could be easy pickings. You've not got many friends. You've got these guys here. We could easily take that place. You've got 11,000 men. We could go in when we've replenished. Get your territory. That gives us quite a big bit of land across the middle. Then we could go for there and there. And then, and then, yes, that, that's beautiful. The only thing is our oratory power goes up so slow. So, no, we'll decline your offer. Thanks, but thanks, but no thanks. And let's concentrate back down here on the exciting siege. So now, hopefully, we should start seeing a chance appearing of surrender. So no, not this time, but this is better. This is better. There's no chance of surrender right now, but it's looking pretty good. And, oh, that place over there would like to import salt from the province of Icenia. As we're not currently exporting, it would gain the following bonus. Army maintenance costs. Ah, did the people who, ah, maybe we were, we were trading salt with these guys. And obviously we're at war with them, so we're not going to give them salt because that would be <laughs> counterproductive. So now these guys want it, and that will bring our army maintenance costs down a bit. Yes, absolutely, please. Give us the money from it, and then also make our armies cheaper as well. Yes, beautiful. Okay, uh, right, I'm just going to notch time on a little tiny bit quicker there. Just move things on a bit faster. Um, a thing has appeared at the top. They would like salt as well. The uh, Trinovantians would like salt. Yeah, all right, right now, yes, absolutely. And what's that? Starving pops. The following cities are currently starving. Lagenentium. Okay, is that one of mine? Do I stretch up that far? Do I do I really stretch up that far? Um, it looks like I might. Um, oh, hang on, Votadinia. Hang on, are you? To hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're taking that off me. You swines. Hang on, no. <laughs> I I kind of didn't notice these guys. Here. The Brigantians might come and help me. Are they my friends? I'm not entirely sure. No, they're not my friends. Um, so who are these guys then? They're the Votodanians who are from where? They're from there. Okay. And we're at war with that. This is very confusing. Damnonian Carvetians. Oh, who knows what's going on? I don't know who those people are. But yes, they are taking one of my things off me. Ah, Koratani is at war with Damnonia. And that's them up there. So I'm protecting these guys. And they're having a fight. Okay. <laughs> right. I might need to go and deal with that. Yeah, that, sorry, that's that's my fault. That's my own silly fault. I've been concentrating on the south coast here and not looking up at the north. Okay, fine. Right, come out of that. This city here could do with falling anytime now. So now I've got a 14% chance of them surrendering. How are we looking up here? Our troops will get there eventually, but yeah, they're... No, no, they're not sieging. They're not sieging anymore. Our 9,000 hardy soldiers are coming in and they're just running away. They <laughs> they had a little go. They went, ooh, look, we're going to take your city. And we went, really? Okay, fine. Take the city. We're going to come and kill you. And they went, and ran away. Okay, fine. 21% chance now to take that place. One in five. Are our troops going to move in? Hopefully they are. Yep. Yeah, okay, right. We're up here now. Hello. Please stop trying to kill us, you idiots. Where are you going? 
Uh, can we tell where they're going? Lutadarium. Yeah, that's not ours, I don't think, is it? I know it is ours. It is ours. Do you know what? I might come down and have a fight with you guys then, if you're going to be like that. We're going to try and kill you. Where are you going now? Where about are you going? I'd love to... Oh, they've gone into there now. Okay, fine. We're just going to have a little bit of a cat and mouse thing here. Uh, uh, a battle is going to rage here between the Coratani and the Votadanians. It was unclear who would win. What, 9,000 people versus 1,000 people? I, I think it might be a little bit clear as to who's going to win. <laughs> oh, gosh, what a terrible surprise. We've killed all of the people. <gasps> We've got one of their people. Have we imprisoned her? Uh, we killed 1,000 of 1,000 troops. Brutal. That was that was brutal. Oh, my goodness me. We have completely, completely butchered them. And we have got ourselves a prisoner. We have a prisoner. We could banish them. We could execute them. That means we get some tyranny, which is this thing here. Now, I don't know what that does. We could flog them. We could release them. So that person will gain 20 loyalty. We could sacrifice them. <gasps> We pay 25 of our religious power. We gain votive offering. Don't know what that does. The tribesmen generate more money. They generate more happiness. And the amount of centralization ah, you lose is proportion to the target's martial skill of four. So we'd lose four centralization. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. Let's. Ju I'm just going to leave them there. I'm just going to leave them sat in prison for a bit. And the others might use that as a sort of peace thing. They might use that as a thing that we could use to sue for peace. But okay, right, we've killed them lot up there. That went quite well. We're not having a lot of luck with this fort, are we? We are not having a lot of luck at all. We thought that might have gone by now, but no, it has not. So come on, come on, this time around. 40, no, 36% chance. Come on, give us, give us this place. I'm going to just move time on a tiny bit quicker. Come on, come on. No, there is a water shortage. That's probably good. Let's keep an eye on the north. Anything happening up here in the north? Brigantia doing some stuff, but no, nothing much going on over there. We need this, and then that'll be peace. As soon as we get this, there'll be peace in the south, and then I don't know what the land's going to do, and then we'll be able to take our troops back up north to do some other stuff. Um, okay, right. Some stuff has happened, and there's some people praying to the skies. Lovely skies. A female druid coming from the outskirts of Duravigatum, that's where we went to war for in the first place with the Icenes, has recently become a hot topic in Arate. Oh, my goodness. Uh, supposedly going against all kinds of traditions. Oh, a rebel. Our high priest, Lucteris Divica, seems to have taken a particular dislike to the girl, uh, often ambitiously mocking her person and ways around court. Okay, so who are you? Are you the, are you the one that's doing the stuff? Are you the female druid? Uh, I don't know. So you're the one, you're the high priest. That's fine. I guess you're the person. So you're a member of the Vodonosi family. Some suggest quietly remove the girl quietly, whereas others would like to give her more space to show her ideas and affect our religion. Maybe we could both get rid of that and become more favourable among this girl's followers at once. Why do you want to get rid of Lucteris Divicus? Replace our high priest. Okay, that person then loses a heck of a lot of loyalty. Or get the woman out of our lands. Okay... She's got she's got seven religiousy power, uh, and she's got seventy five percent loyalty, disciplined, arbitrary, forgiving, and submissive. He's pious, cold, foolish, and guileless. So you know, he has an extra bit of zeal. That's probably a good thing because he's pious. Um, and what's that one? Cold. He he doesn't have much charisma. Again, don't care. He's foolish. He lacks finesse. Not so bothered. And he's guileless. So his monthly corruption comes down, as does his finesse. I'm not bothered. What about her? She's quite good at military stuff. She's got arbitrary. She's forgiving. So her finesse comes down, but her charisma goes up. And she's submissive. I, she's not better than our current person. He's better. He's got. If he's a high priest, he's going to want a high religious score of nine. Hers is only seven. So why would I want to swap them around? No, get the woman out of our lands and he becomes a bit more loyal to us. Yes, away with you. <laughs> away with you, crazy person. Another one of those. Another shortage. We're not having a lot of luck. We're having very little in the way of fortune with all that stuff going on down there. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. This time round, this time round, we can get these guys. All the rest of their lands are taken. It's just waiting for this fort. And it's us and the Trinovantians. We're all teamed together. We're all in this together. This time around. This time around. No, a water shortage. Oh my goodness me. Just you would have thought that the, the laws of averages would have given this by now. Okay, right. Move time on nice and fast. You know what? As fast as it can go. 
Is it going to be ours? Are we going to take it this time? A supply shortage? Oh, dearie me. We are having utterly no fortune there at all. Do we need to keep an eye on this? You're Trinovantian. Uh, no. It appears that those guys are not coming down to bother me again. They came down. They put their nose in. Um, where's Derbentio? You're Trinovantian. That's fine, isn't it? You're allowed to be here. We're friends with you. Why is that place starving? I don't understand why that place is starving. What's going on? Why is this place starving? I'm not entirely sure. It might be something to do with um, something to do with unrest or maybe the enemy have walked through there recently or something. I don't know. Come on. This time round, it has to be... Oh my goodness me. <laughs> there's going to be no one left in this place. It's been it's been siege for ages. And it's wood. It's been on fire for a year. Surely it's rained in that point to put it out. But then, yeah, surely we could just set it on fire again. Right. This time, I'm going to put time on nice and fast. This is going to work. This is going to be the time we claim this place. And no, a water shortage, even though they're right by the sea, but okay, I guess you can't drink it. This time round, this time round is now going to be the one, super fast. No, defenders desert. Oh, dearie me. The, the, dice, the dice gods are not with us this time. The druid dice gods are certainly not with us. That is just going all sorts of wrong. What's going on here? What's this? Hang on. Hang on, who would... Who's that there? Is that the Cantassians? Oh, the Cantassians are ripping Debunia apart. Debunia, there isn't much left of Debunia. We need to take this now. We need to take that in order to... And more defenders desert. There can't be anyone left. There can't be anyone left. The defenders have deserted about 200 times. How many people are left in this place? 392 people left in this place. How utterly inept is this? Come on. Come on. Do this. Look, this place has fallen apart. This place has fallen apart. They've got so much territory over here. We need to go and kind of claim it back. But then if I go down there with my troops, these guys might come down here and be sneaky beakies and then start and then start taking our lands. Um, Carvetia and Votadania. Oh my goodness me. Right, hang on. Pause time for a second. It lasted 565 days. Trinovanti now controls the province. The garrison were allowed to march out. Okay. I would advise that you lot make peace really, really soon. I think that would probably be a good thing for you to do about now. So yeah, you guys can all just sort of trudge out. Um, okay, we need to take our troops out then. Right, you lot, come up here and try and take some of this territory back. <laughs> because this could be bad. Uh, you're Trinovantian, you're Cantassian. Oh yeah, you go into there. You go through to here. Um, and you come through to here. Let's come in from the east. Let's come in from the east. And start taking some of this stuff back. I think that might be a good idea. They're Cantassian as well. How do we do the peace thing? Get, sue for peace. <laughs> you, sue for peace with this place. Go and sue for peace immediately with these. The, look, they've got their entire territory. It, it's fine. The war is done. And I think peace has just happened. Okay, that is good. But now, they're gone. These guys in the corner, the Cantassians, are entirely, entirely eradicated. But now... Trinovantia is big. Look at that. Trinovantia have become a gigantic power in the southeast. They've got quite a lot of land now. They've got all sorts of land. Oh my goodness me. Okay, okay. Right. That's very interesting. Also, one thing we're going to do, we're going to get our technology to get aggressive protection. Fabricate claim cost down 10%. Lovely. Thank you very much. And then we can actually fabricate a claim now. We've got 182 oratory power. It's only took several years to get there. But we can finally actually fabricate a claim and go and have a fight. The only thing is, I don't want to join in up there. I don't really care about that war. That can just sort of happily just sort of sit there doing nothing. What about over here? Do we want to declare war on these guys? Are they, are they allied with us anymore? Karatai, they've got a thing on us. I don't think they're allied with us anymore. So are we allowed to declare war on them? Uh, no, we can just show superiority. We can't do anything about it. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, first thing we need to do, redirect our troops. Because at the moment, they're wandering over here into Dubunia, because that's what we told them to do. We want to bring them back home. So which one is this? That's Clan Vodonosi's retinue. Uh, where can you go to be supported? Oh, literally everywhere. Right, you can go to just there. And then the big lot, the first war band, yeah, go to the capital. Go and defend the capital. That should be fine. Are you guys okay just there? Yeah, okay, right. We'll leave those people there for now. Now, I've got my eyes on this place just here. Where's one which shows us the actual countries? There, countries here. I've got my eyes on Cornovia just here. 
because they don't have much in the way of friends, which is a little bit sad. But look, they've got, oh no, hang on. They've got the Brigantians. Oh, okay. They've allied with those relatively recently, I think. Okay, maybe I won't go to war with them. Yeah, <laughs> that might be a bad idea. But yeah, these guys look, I mean, we're doing quite well at sort of uniting all of the South. It's nice. We are sort of being okay. We're sort of uniting the United Kingdom, but I, I want it all under my banner. And these guys have got a massive load more land now. They've got so much more stuff. And one thing we could look at, actually, if we go back to the political map, go to there. Can we get a trade route in? Yes, we can. There's some stuff available. So we could get some grain. What have you guys got now? Uh, salt, earthenware, wood, furs, and iron. Okay, and we've got the governor policy of encouraged trade. Now, yeah, do we want to switch this round? Ah, yes, I think we might need to leave it on encourage trade because that gives us our import route. If we change that, it means we don't get a trade route and I would quite like to get this trade route in. So we can have ourselves grain, which is local population growth plus 0.1%. We can get fish, is 0.5%. Or we go down here, get vegetables. That ups the supply limit, not so bothered. Stone is fort defense, not bothered about that. And then earthenware, that would give us a surplus of earthenware that could be quite good so we get we've already got that so we already get five percent extra research points if we were to go yes i'll have some more earthenware that would then say we've got a surplus in that province so that would give us an extra one percent that's probably not a bad thing but i like the idea of population growth i think that's very good so let's go and get ourselves some grain from the cantassians that's good that's my friends they're my buddies so that's good. And it earns us a bit of money as well. So yeah, okay, absolutely. Let's get some grain from them lot. And that's very good. So there we go. So we've got a couple of trade routes going. This is all going nice and, you know, nice and well. Now we could change this up here. So what's this? This governor policy up here in the actual province of Coratana, which is all the way up there, that is currently on local autonomy. So population output minus 75%, but everyone becomes a bit happier by 25%. How happy is everybody? Everybody is delighted. 60%. Um, they have an average happiness. Or oh, maybe not, actually. The um, the freeman over there is not overly happy. You're not particularly delighted. Maybe I need to leave them on. Because if we take that out, 25% of that might drop it below their happiness level and they become grumpy. But I was thinking, encourage trade would get us another import route up there. And that might be quite good, because then this place has got quite a lot of things. But uh, no, let's leave that for now. Let's leave that, I think. De Bunya have cancelled the generously given right to military access they have been given by us. Oh, they don't want military access from us anymore, though we should really have beaten them to it. Oh, that's fine. Maybe they just don't need it anymore. That's okay. Right, so we still need to get our troops moving up here. That's going to be quite slow. How are we looking for gold? <laughs> All of 0 0.04 gold per, per month. That's terrible. We could find that. We could just go to a river and pan for that and get more gold than that. Can we not just have some river panning people? That's a bit better. 0 0.86. That's a bit more like it. Now, we do need to start planning ahead at some point. We do need to make a move on somebody. Now, I don't know who. Ah, hang on a minute. Those guys. You guys, the Parisians up here. You don't have any friends anymore. I don't know why. So you're trading with those guys up there. But then in terms of friends, you've got no allies at all, presumably because you're acting like idiots and sort of getting rid of all your friends. I don't know why. Could we make our Casus Belli thing on them? Because they've got one on us. They've got one on us. So yes, they can uh, declare war on us without suffering that stability hit. Uh, that could be quite good, couldn't it? They've got a truce with us until... Oh, oh, what? They've got a truce with Caratania. Have we been to war with you? Why do we have a truce with you? We haven't been to war with you, have we? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Why do we have that? Declaring war while having a truce will have the aggressor suffer a minus five stability hit. Oh my goodness, that's that's quite a lot. We, we got that. I'm a bit confused. Hang on. Hang on. Where's our diplomacy thing? Diplomacy. A truce with... Uh, no. We haven't got a truce with them. Yeah, there's no truce there, so we could we could declare war on them, could we? <laughs> I'm a bit confused. How does that work? So if we declare war, yeah, there's nothing in there telling us that we can't. We haven't got the Casus Belli on, but yes, we, we could do that eventually. That would take that off them. Are these good places? Yeah, they're quite good. Some freemen and some citizens. Citizens and some tribesmen. Quite a lot of tribesmen up there. 
does bring us a bit more up to the north, doesn't it? But it's three more places under our control, three more places to generate money and stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not convinced. I kind of think there might have some secret friends hiding up here behind a mountain or something. I don't know. Do you know, the more I look at it, the more I think we could probably take these guys over here. These Cornovian folks over here, we could have them. I am fairly confident. I mean, okay, yeah, he looks very good. He's got a proper, he's got a big bushy beard. And I like that. I admire the big bushy beard. But these places would look better under my control. They would look so much better. They are friends over here with the Brigantians. They are allied with them which could be a problem, but if you go into here and have a look at the diplomacy, the Brigantians have only got nine cohorts. They've got a couple sort of standing around here. I don't know where the rest are, which be up over here or having a scrap or whatever. So we could easily just position one of our things over here. Just go, yep, there we go. Put them in somewhere where there's woods or something and go and hide. Maybe they could come down and start causing a bit of trouble. Then we'll go and attack them, get those. And meanwhile, send our other troops into here to go and have a fight. So the Cornovians have got 13 cohorts. So they must have 12,000 there. What have they got there? Six and six just there. So they must have another cohort wandering around somewhere. So that's certainly so we could certainly something we could think about. I think we might be able to have those. It'd be easy if they were not allied with them. It would be so much easier. But yeah, I think I think that's certainly something that we could look at. I like the idea of that. Also, I really want to get to the point where we can get one of these things. I really want to get one of these. Because we can either have chariot defence. That's that's fine. We haven't got much of those. We can have light infantry morale up. Or we can have archer offence up 15%. We've got a lot of archers. So having 804 military sort of power stuff up there to get our archers working better would be great. And then, yeah, you have to work down these lists, I think, which is interesting. Yeah, so what do you have to have for that one? Strike and withdraw. Yeah, so they're, they're columns. So you have to have that one to then unlock the ones beneath, uh, beneath it, which is, yeah, yeah, that makes no sense. That's fair enough. National manpower up 10%. Is there anything that makes anything cheaper? Is there anything that makes that stuff cheaper? That'd be great. Maybe we should head toward that because we have no money of any kind. No, nothing that looks like it makes stuff cheaper. But never mind. So yeah, we can't redo really that yet either. But I think what we do is, I think we pick on these guys. These guys did a did a thing to us. They, didn't they insult us at one point? So they insulted us. So they, yeah, they leaned over. They ran across the river and went, nah, 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 you will smell or something like that. So they sent us an insulting message. And then they took out a Casa Spellite against us. Then they broke their alliance with us. And now they're just sort of sitting there entirely isolated and on their own. I think that's what we do. We go and take them. Let's go and have a bit of a fight with them. Now, what have they got? They've got 10 cohorts. Where? Where have they got 10 cohorts? Where are they hiding them? So let's bring you up to... Now, you might not be able to be supported up here. So go to there for now. Wander into there. You guys go up to there. See if you can get any sight on these things. Hang on, where have I just sent them? Where did I just send you? Oh, into here. That's fine. So let's wander over into these two places. Just see if we've got any sight on what their troops might be up there. But I think we could take them very easily. We could take those. We can wander into their capital area, you know, where their fort is, just from here, I think. I wonder if we can get in from here to here, or whether we're not allowed to cross over by that river. I'm not sure. So we might have to go into here, and then through into this area, and then take that once the fort's gone. But that, again, is something we can do. We've now got the oratory power for it, because we've dropped the price. We've dropped the cost of the uh, Casus Belli, so we can now go into uh, into Covert Actions. Fabricates claim 181 for some reason. Something's added a 1 to it, but okay, that's fine. So 181, so that's something we could do as well. So yeah, I think... I think that would be good. A feud! Oh, good. I love dealing with feuds. This is my favourite thing. I suppose this is the problem with clans, isn't it? They all sort of squabble and fight. Okay, two of our tribesmen have come forward today to ask for help setting ownership over a gold statue they found. Oh, <laughs> can I have it? Satyada, I don't know, so believes it belongs to her, as she was the one to find it, whereas Brenwen Correa she says it belongs to her. Is she, not the, is she not the general? Yeah, she's the general. We kind of want to keep her happy. She's the wife of the tribal chief of Coratina. Hang on. Hang on, what? What, 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 what? Hang on, I'm a bit confused. She's the wife of the tribal chief. I'm the tribal chief. So, so hang on, I've got to choose between starting with my wife or the leader of the armies. <laughs> is, is that right? Hang on, that can't be right. Like, <laughs> there's me and there's Brenwyn Carreria. Yes, I know, that's the general. Hang on, where? who am I married to? Who's who? Who is my wife? Who's my wife? I'm very confused. So there's me. Let's click on me. Yeah, my spouse is Satyad of Artenosa. 
<laughs> okay, that's interesting. And I also didn't realise, if we look into characters and families, that Emnamicus Corres is, that's that's my leader. I suppose it's not me technically, it's our leader. Brenwyn Correa is what? My, my sister, possibly? Is my friend? I don't know. She's on my family line. But yeah, she must not be directly related or something. I don't really understand that. If she's next to me in this family, yeah, I don't know who exactly she's related to, but there you go. She's got some friends. Anyway, that's nice. So yeah, do I side with my wife, <laughs> which is a little bit silly, who's quite loyal to me, or or the general, who's got a loyalty of 63.4? Well, I'm going to side with, with, the, with the general. So if we do this, so Brenwyn... Uh, of the so the general gets five loyalty, gets some gold, and and my wife loses ten loyalty in me, but she's got eighty anyway, so that's fine. If I take it for me, I get some tyranny. We get a load of money, and they both lose loyalty. That would be bad for her because she would be on fifty three point four. That's quite low. Or it belongs to the gods. We lose loyalty, only five, and we get some religious power. I was bothered about that. That is quite tempting. That the ten. The, the 10, the 100, sorry, money is quite tempting. That is very good. But no, I think we're going to go for here. It belongs to her. So she will get herself 100 gold. Can I have some of the gold, please? <laughs> Give me some of the gold. She gains a bit of loyalty and my wife then loses some loyalty in me. <laughs> I am a terrible husband. Sorry, but the general's got it. The general's got it. It's all to do with the general. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Now, we can afford a new invention. I can foresee a point in the not-too-distant future where we're not going to have any inventions left to unlock. We're just going to accrue loads of civic power. So let's go for herbalism. Herbalism gives us technology speed boosted by 5%. Now, I think that's different to this. Where was it? That one there. Military artisans. That says military tech investment. So that seems to be more specific toward military tech. I guess that's in there, is it? I'm not entirely sure. So I think this just boosts our tech speed overall by 5%. So let's do that. So we should see in there at some point. These should all go up, I believe. So let's say, let's take the civic advances on 95% right now. If we go to that, go, okay, yes. It's boosted it the tiniest little bit, but you know what? 5% is still good. So now they're going to finish this Religious Advances 1 research in January 533. <laughs> so still another 70-odd years to go, eh? Okay, yeah, maybe we, need, maybe we need to get some more, some more stuff going on there in terms of research. But yeah, we're really struggling with that. Oh, oh, it's like that, is it, Damnonia? So these guys here, the Damnonians, who we're at war with, who I don't really know who I'm at war with because it's all a bit confusing up there, they just wandered into this territory and they've started taking my place. They've started taking Danum. Uh, well, we've got 9,000 people lined up just here. So how about we go and have a fight with you, eh? That would be nice. Let's go and see if it can scare you away. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cheerio. Yep, they're just going to run off. Lovely. They'll run away. That's quite nice. We possibly should chase them down. We possibly should try and kill them. Uh, how can I ever end this war? Can I sue for peace yet in this? Uh, you can't abandon your allies oh, until 1st April 461. And then I can just say, look, look. Yeah, the war isn't going anywhere, you lot. Can you just give it up, please? Just stop fighting. That would be nice. Yeah, I'm still very confused. So I'm at war with both those guys up there. So is all that Damnonia now? Is all that that place? No. So we've got, this is Votodinia. And hang on a minute, this is very confusing. <laughs> what nations are you? Tell me what you are. I'm very confused. Damnomnia and Votan, Votadinia. Okay, so I'm at war with both of those. Um, and then they're at war down here with the Carvetians, who are just here, I think. I think that's the Carvetians just there. I think that's how it works. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really interested in this war. I'm not really that bothered. So, oh, hang on a minute. You're trying to take that place now. Oh, you've taken it, you swine bags. Yep, I'll have that back. Thank you very much. There's going to be a fight here. It's not entirely clear who's going to win. I rather think it's going to be my people. Right, they're sending reinforcements in. We need to get some people up here. Hello, here's a great big force of 10,000 people coming in to kick your bottoms. Let's see what's going on here. Um, as I will lose, what, just here? Against not very many thousand men? Really? Um, the Dubunians have broken down their alliance with us. Okay, right, we're completely killing them. We're absolutely killing them in the face. So yeah, there we go. We've won that then. We are victorious. <laughs> Lovely. So we lost 606. They lost 1,625. Okay, so they're going to run away. Asside might win in a battle that's going to be fought just here. There's some Damnomnians coming in from this side. 
Yeah, we just need to kill you lot. And Votadinia. Um, yeah, are we, are we friends with you as well? I'm not entirely sure. I'm very confused as to who we're, <laughs> we're fighting. I'm a bit baffled. Right, we've captured another person. Lovely. We killed 3,000 of 3,000 troops. Again, no mercy shown. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> wow. She just went in and absolutely destroyed them. And we've got somebody there, which is lovely. Okay. Um, what else has got? I'm very confused with who is now fighting who. So we're taking our place back. We're sieging this city. We're taking it back. Okay, that's fine. So we're sieging our the city that was previously ours. So it's part of us, but it's occupied by them. So yeah, so we'll get this back. That's lovely. We'll take this off them. And then do you know what? With this war sort of raging up here, I think what we might do is we might... They're Cornovians. Yeah, they're the Cornovians. They're okay. They're not coming to do anything with us. I think we'll finish up for now. Let's finish up and we'll come back. There we go. That's ours now. Lovely. I'm happy with that. We'll come back and we'll see what we can do. Maybe we do need to go up here and just bang some heads together and say, stop here. But it is quite far away. It's quite some distance away from us. It's all the way up here. So we have to trudge through all this land to go up here to have a bit of a fight. And we're quite far away from reinforcements and stuff. I'm very tempted to just wait. Wait for that date to come by. And then say, look, I'm, I'm not bothered, actually. I'm, I don't want to do this. Go away, please. I don't want to be in your silly war anymore. Leave me alone. 1st of April this year. So it's, what, two months away. So I think maybe we just sue for peace. Just go, look, we don't want to be doing fighting. We're all, we're all lovers, not fighters. So let's stop it and we'll have a bit of peace. And then we can maybe get this place under our control. I quite like the idea of taking that. And then maybe come over here and take them as well. So we could go up there, have a little bit of territory over here. Maybe use that as a bit of a base to get the Welsh under our control as well. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we'll figure that out next time. I hope you are still enjoying this. I, I'm having a great time with this. I do like a nice bit of strategy games. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, then please do leave a like. And also, please do subscribe if you are not already. Just so you can keep up to date with our efforts here to unite the not very, at the moment, United Kingdom in Imperator Rome. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geekerhood. And I will see you next time. The pyramid was built far away, the terracotta was built far away, and the Great Wall was built far away. Far away sounds like a very good place to go, doesn't it? Greece, you handsome devil, Alexander. Hello there. King Nipplehead is not at the bottom of the table. I'm above him. Oh, and that was a rather ill-advised move.